Hi, my name's Keith Nickel, and today what I'd like to talk about is what to look for in a cross-country ski instructor. Uh, this was triggered by an email I got the other day from someone who had uh, just taken a lesson trying to learn how to snow plow on the cross-country skis and then had a look at one of my YouTube videos and said the progression that I used seemed to work a whole lot better than what they were taught in their class. Um, and so what I want to look at is uh, the whole situation of ski instruction, particularly as it applies, first of all, uh, to alpine resorts. Um, if you go and take a downhill ski lesson or a snowboard lesson, at least in Canada, at any of the resorts, you'll probably be taught by someone who's taken a course either through CASI, the Canadian Association of Snowboard Instructors, or through the Alliance, the CSIA, or the Canadian Ski Instructors Alliance for Alpine Skiing. These groups have been around for a long time. They certify instructors. Uh, to pass one of their courses, you must be able to teach uh, the maneuvers that are appropriate at that level, and also ski them. When it comes to cross-country skiing, uh, more or less the same applies in many instances if you go to a cross-country ski resort. Uh, uh, just like uh, with, with Alpine, uh, they like the professionalism of the CSIA and CASI. And in cross-country skiing in Canada, that group is CANSI, Canadian Association of Nordic Ski Instructors. Uh, and they'll certify uh, cross-country ski instructors, again, with a teaching component uh, and a skiing component uh, at their various levels of instruction. So when we look at some differences, though, between going to a ski resort uh, and the venues that cross-country skiing takes place in, we see that there's a whole lot more range. For instance, a municipality may groom trails in one of their city parks. Uh, the same thing might apply to trails which are groomed in provincial, or federal parks, perhaps in the U.S., there might be state and federal parks that have trails groomed. Uh, you may have cross-country ski trails set on golf courses. And, of course, there are many, many clubs uh, across the country which also groom their own trails uh, and may offer lessons. Now, at these other locations, uh, we may have uh, a lot less uh, certainty as to who your instructor might be. For instance, uh, maybe it's the golf pro who may uh, teach some ski lessons uh, throughout the wintertime. Maybe in, in a city park, maybe it's an interested skier that sets up some lessons, maybe it's a city employee within a ski club, maybe it's a, a junior racer or an interested uh, adult that will set up some lessons. But what you want to ask about is what kind of qualifications uh, exist for those different uh, types of situations. So I always recommend, no matter where you get a lesson, whether it be at a resort, a club, uh, perhaps at a provincial park, always ask about the certification that that individual has. Have they taken a CANSI course? Can they teach the material? And also, can they ski at the level that, that's appropriate? So aside from making sure that your instructor is qualified, has taken a, a CANSI course and is current in, uh, in their teaching, uh, what you also want to recognize is that CANSI has uh, four different levels. Level one, level two, level three, and level four. Uh, level one skiers are trained to teach beginner skiers. Level two, more or less intermediate skiers. Level three and four, more advanced skiers. So in Canada, for instance, if you want to learn a technique like the offset or V1, or maybe some skidded turns, uh, and you go to your, uh, your ski school, uh, make sure that you ask for at least someone with level two experience, level two can see certification, because at level one, those types of skills are not addressed at all. They're dealing with more basic techniques, uh, more advanced techniques, uh, require more advanced uh, instructors. So uh, make sure that if you're an intermediate, more advanced skier, that you question and ask uh, what kind of level instructors do you have within your, your ski school and go for someone that's going to suit your abilities again because it is time and money and you want to get the most out of your ski lesson. And more or less the same thing applies when we're looking at stuff uh, online, whether it be written, whether it be photographs, whether it be videos and so forth. Uh, have a look at uh, the qualifications of the people putting up that material. Uh, make sure that they are qualified, they know what they're talking about, uh, because again, you can spend a lot of time on the internet looking up stuff, uh, and you wanna make sure that uh, it is the most appropriate for your situation.
So if you are in a situation where your local club, your local area doesn't have a certified uh, ski instructor at the level that you want, you may want to take advantage of our online fast track uh, program. This has a few different options associated with it, and we would give personalized instruction to uh, individuals uh, this year uh, in Europe, uh, North America, we have clients. So it's something that you may want to look at uh, if you don't have good instructors uh, in your location. So just to simply recap, uh, when you're looking for a costume ski instructor, make sure it's someone who is qualified, who's taken uh, the appropriate uh, certification, and then at the appropriate level uh, for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with skiers you think might benefit.